Now, without a doubt, the military is an interesting organization, especially to an 18 year old. I joined when I was 18 years old and I was in uh, Fort Dix, New Jersey for basic training. Uh, Fort Dix was apparently named after the drill instructors. And I'm in there and I'm 18 years old. The first time I'm really away from home. And the military is strange because it is just this highly regimented, structured environment and then absolute freedom. When you're out from under them and you're on leave or something, you are just absolutely free. And uh, being uh, regimented to such a great deal, you, you, you tended to uh, bust out in ways that were probably not good all around. So it's July 4th and my company, uh, basic trainees, uh, we, are, we are going to go to, uh, we're going to be in a parade. We're going to be in a July 4th parade in some New Jersey town about 100 miles away from the fort. And the, the company gets in these two deuce and a half, uh, two and a half ton trucks. You know, the large trucks and have a canvas back, it's a big dump truck. And the soldiers are in the back. So we're riding to this parade and we march in a parade. And after the parade, there's this very nice, it's July, it's very hot. And there's very nice uh, luncheon at a uh, American Legion post. And you have all these guys uh, that are buying us drinks. They're buying us beers. Uh, I'm 18. And they're just in this private club, we're having beer. And they're, they're all like my father's age. They're all World War II veterans. And, you know, and they know we're going to be going off to Vietnam. So they're, they're buying us uh, beers and everything and feeling nostalgic, whatever they feel. So we have a few beers there. And then we get in the deuce and a half. It's evening. And we get back in the deuce and a half. And we're all crowded in there. And we're, we're, we're feeling pretty good. Pretty good. And we're driving through this one neighborhood. It's an urban neighborhood. And the deuce and a half gets surrounded by four or five black guys. The truck stop. A guy comes up to the back of the deuce and a half and he says, my mama wants you to come to our fish fry. So this, this neighborhood, we get out of this, 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 into this neighborhood. The only white guys there are the guys that were in the truck. There's plenty of black guys too. And, and we're, having, we're at this party and the people in the neighborhood are just, they're out on their porches and in the streets and there's soul music and there's dancing and there's fish fry and beer. <laughs> <laughs> they're giving us more beer and we're having a great time. They're just so incredibly welcoming and friendly. And, and, but then we got to get back to the base. So we, we, we stumble back into the truck and uh, we, you know, we haven't been to a restroom in a while and we, we've had a lot of beer. Uh, and a couple of guys get on, into the truck with multiple cases of beer. Nobody was thirsty, but we kept drinking. So we're driving, we're on the highway, we're driving back to Fort Dix. And again, we haven't been to a restroom since the American Legion Hall some time ago. And, uh, you know, we all have these, you all have this military equipment and stuff and these stupid dummy rifles they gave us for the parade. And, and uh, a, a helmet in the military, if you don't know, it has a metal exterior, a tin pot, and then it has a plastic helmet lining. And, and so, Initially, there were guys standing at the end of the deuce and a half, uh, sort of leaning out and, and uh, relieving themselves onto the highway. But there were guys in the back that couldn't get all the way up front. And they are passing forward helmets full of, yeah, and the helmets are warm. And you're passing from guy to guy. And the deuce and a half is not a, you know, it's a bouncy, right? So we're passing from guy to guy. And they're dumping these helmets out the back of the truck and a state trooper car comes up and we're waving the state trooper car back and then they realize what we're doing and the state trooper <laughs> drops back. <laughs> so anyway, I'm finding this pretty funny. You know, this, 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 we're, we're, you know, I'm saying this is real field expediency with the helmets and, and some guy from about six, seven feet away from me says, you're drunk, you're gonna get us in trouble and he throws a full can of beer at me and hits me on the side of my head. Opens up a pretty big gash on the side of my head. Now, having had a few beers over the course of the day and early evening, and then losing a bit of blood, I'm kind of woozy. 
But I have a friend, he's, he's got a, you know, we got a handkerchief on it and everything, trying to stop the, stop the blood. I couldn't argue with the guy uh, who said I was drunk, getting us in trouble. I don't think I was the, I don't see how a beer can in the head helped that situation, but to each his own. We get all, we get back to Fort Dix. And I get out of the truck and, and the lieutenant's about to release us. And he says, what happened to you? I know I, I bumped my head. He goes, have you seen that? I said, how the fuck can I see it? It's on the side of my head. Because you got to go to the hospital. I said, okay. He doesn't take me to the hospital. I walk. I walk to the hospital. It's a good mile and a half away. I have to go across the field ground. While I'm going across this parade field, which is acres and acres and acres long, I see a bunch of guys in the middle of the field. They're jumping up and down, seem to be having a good time. I mean, so I keep walking. And, and two guys pass me, and I wave to them. They say, hey, how you doing? I keep going. I come across these two other guys who had just been mugged. And somebody, those two guys I waved to, had just beat the hell out of these two guys. So I had a detour from going to the hospital. I had to walk over to the beer garden. It was an open beer garden. I was not getting a beer. I was not, not thirsty at all. Told an MP that two guys were in the field and someone had beat the hell out of them and they got to take care of it. I get to the hospital, I'm in the emergency room and they, I'm being taken care of by a rookie doctor, a resident. And the doctor is putting in the first few stitches and the doctor says, uh, you, you want to try it? And I'm saying, oh, yeah, great, yeah, sure. Give, give the new guy a shot at the side of my head. And he said, yeah, I'll, I'll try it. And it, so the, the resident is stitching me up and everything. And the doctor said, well, you, you think that you got a feel for it? And the resident says, no, I want to put in a couple more. <laughs> so, puts in a couple more stitches, I suppose. But just uh, without a doubt, uh, alcohol did not improve my day that day. And uh, the military is a very strange organization. I still can't believe they didn't give me a ride to the hospital. Thank you.